you've probably been reading about in the news, or maybe you heard this from the U.S. Surgeon General, that e-cigarette use among young people is an epidemic. According to the FDA, in 2018, one in five high school students vape, which is a 78% increase over just one year. Nearly 5% of middle schoolers vape, which is a nearly 50% increase in one year. So what do I do if I find out that my kid is vaping or I suspect it? What do I do? To the world of social media, social gaming, online access, and other social connections. So over the next few minutes, I want to cover a few different things. First, I want to give you a framework, a practical tool uh, to have good conversations at home. Second, I want to give you 10 practical things you can do as soon as you get home to help your family navigate technology well. And third, I want to help you learn. I want to help you learn how for yourself, for all those devices that you have, how to set up and configure them so that they work for your family when it comes to technology. Uh, I'm a mental health activist and advocate. I, I speak, I write, and I'm on the board of directors for the San Francisco chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Um, and what has inspired my advocacy efforts um, has been my daughter, who has struggled with a mental health condition for years. And parenting teens with a mental health condition can be excruciating. I know, you're not alone. But there are resources, there is help available, 20% of 13 to 18 year olds live with a mental health condition. Um, that's staggering. That's on par with adult statistics. 17% of high school students seriously consider suicide. Now that's a very troubling statistic. But the truth of the matter is, just because you feel disposable, just because you feel replaceable, does that mean that's what you really are? And at Teen Esteem, we want to make sure everybody knows that, that is not the truth. The truth of the matter is every single person is invaluable. No matter what you've been told, no matter how you've been treated, no matter what kind of messages you may have embraced for all of your life, maybe since the, the, the earliest memory you have, people have been telling you these kinds of messages about yourself and you've been treated that way. This is who you truly are.